devices. Hi everyone, this is Amin, and in this video I'm going to talk about a rudimentary concept in wireless networking, which is Wi-Fi a minimum data rate. As I told you, it's not a sophisticated thing, so we can we're going to cover it in uh, two or three slides. But the thing is that as long as it's a basic stuff to study, we should study it. We should bear that in mind, specifically in uh, high density areas like convention halls, like stadiums, and whatsoever. It is uh, one of the initial steps that uh, when you design a network, you should uh, run it, you should set it. And uh, what is the thing? So let's see. Nowadays, if you talk with uh, Wi-Fi experts, the first recommendation is set your uh, minimum data rate. But uh, to have better understanding, let's see what the benefits are at the beginning. Then by comparing the different amendments on a table, we can understand what the but I mean the gist of the matter. So what are the benefits? You will have a better RF environment. To put all of these things in a nutshell, I would say you will have a better RF environment. This is what you want. When your area is crowded, all of these things like reduction in management overhead, removal unnecessary clear to sense, request to sense frames, and I mean all of them. And the good thing is that you're not going to manipulate your BSS coverage. Even though you're going to increase your ESS throughput, the BSS coverage is still the same. How? Take a look at this uh, table. You're going to get, I mean, the gist of the matter. The first uh, two, the very first two, so 802.11 original and 11B, they are supporting these data rates like one, two. We know that the preamble uh, will come with one megabit per second, and uh, because it's the start, so it will be like syncing uh, stuff. It will uh, be like in the minimum data rate. But apart from that thing, if you put, if you set uh, the controller or your AP minimum data on 6, 9, 12, these days on the documents, you'll see this number 12. You're going to get rid of the old devices, which are supporting these two old technologies. This is why we're saying you're going to have a better RF environment. And the good thing is that in the worst case scenarios, this one, uh, 802.11G, it is backward compatible. So it can, I mean, revert or come back to the previous uh, technologies but in general you're not going to let those things join your network and it is good so you will have a better rf area so this is what we said rf uh, utilize uh, rf or airtime utilization there are other stuff you can uh, set the things on ofdm but uh, the thing for minimum data rate it just uh it, it goes towards setting your minimum data rate on 12 and do not let it too high because you're going to make it difficult to decode the preambles or like the controlling stuff this 12 is a good number so if you want to come up with a conclusion we can say we will have a better time we're gonna we're not gonna let the old clients join our network which is good so the last thing is that we know about a sticky clients uh, the clients that even though they can sense a better uh, SNR, but they still uh, stick to the previous AP. Even in those things, as long as we do need a higher SNR, uh, it will be useful to set minimum data rate on like 12. And this is all of the things. This, this concept is pretty easy and I mean understandable, but sometimes people miss it. This is why I wanted to make a short video and explain it to you. I hope you find it useful and you enjoy it. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Bye everyone. Bye.